Welcome to Location, a Locator News Web Edition, delivering you top stories from a top paper. I'm Jamie Santoro. And I'm Diana Strasavi, and here's your news now. On Tuesday, September 15th, Dr. Michelle Filling gave a presentation called From Angela Davis to Michelle Obama, The Black Female Body Image in Magazines. Fillin discussed how the representation of black women's bodies in the media has changed over the past 50 years. We all remember where we were on September 11th. Now let's take a look and see how Cabrini College remembers the 8th anniversary of the tragedy. The Cabrini community recently united to remember September 11th. A banner was available to be signed in the lobby of Founders Hall. Over 100 students signed the banner. The student government this year for the first time put up flags about 70 around campus um, just remembering 9-11. Although it's been eight years, um, it's still important for us and other students to still remember um, the tragedy that happened in New York and all around the country. A candlelight vigil was held for September 11th victims. Passages and poems were read in their memory. This is Jake Veterano on location. We will remember. The Office of Health and Wellness Education recently launched a program called Healthy Mondays for students, staff, and faculty running Mondays through December 7th. The representatives meet at the Health Hut in the Marketplace for the Monday Mile at 11.30 a.m. for a healthy walk. Another part of the day is Make It Mondays. Make It Mondays has monthly demonstrations to learn healthier cooking options. The dates for the Mondays are October 5th, November 2nd, and December 2nd, and they take place in the Marketplace from 12 to 12.30 p.m. There are only a few spots available at each demo, so please call the Office of Human Resources to reserve your spot. Now let's see what's going on with the dirt sheet. What's up all you stars and studs? I'm Sir Gugu, Jake Verderano. And I'm Gianna Cicatino, and welcome to the dirt sheet where we give you the latest in entertainment. Jake, what are you wearing? What are you not wearing, Gianna? I was inspired by Lady Gaga's outfits at the MTV Video Music Awards. So, I'm being a little more creative with my style. Loved the bloody dance sequence. You disgust me. But you know what didn't disgust me? All the incredible performances at the VMAs. Taylor Swift went wild in the subways. Pink went airborne in her performance. And Janet Jackson did a lovely tribute to her brother. She pelvic thrusted all over the stage. Gianna, what was your favorite performance? Duh, Beyonce's amazing routine to all the single ladies. Um, okay, all right, that's really annoying. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Sorry. Also, Kanye West interrupted Taylor Swift's acceptance speech for best female video and said that Beyonce deserved the award. <sighs> Kanye, how could you be so heartless? Don't worry though, Beyonce graciously gave up her acceptance speech for video of the year so Taylor could properly accept her award. Beyonce, she's got beauty, she's got class, she's got style, and she's got assortments of fans who loved her after what she did for the VMAs. And that's it for this week. I'm Gianna Chicatino. And I'm Jake Verderano. The Glamazon. Now we've got to practice for next year's VMAs. Ready, Gianna? Oh, yes. Where my ring at? Put your hands up. A new campus diversity task force has been launched over the summer by college president Marie Angelella George. The task force was put in place over the summer as a follow-up to the Student Diversity Department launched in fall 2008. Their mission is to create a more diverse campus by offering more opportunities for students of all ethnic backgrounds. During the fall and spring semesters, the task force will offer numerous activities, diversity forums, and will have di diversity lectures in the featured speaker lecture series. And now let's take a look at the upcoming events with the calendar with Melissa Cipollini. Hi, I'm Melissa Cipollini. I'm here on location in Jasmine's Cafe. There's not a lot going on right now, but if you're here on Monday, September 21st, Steel is hosting Bingo Night at 9 p.m. Come out for some great prizes. Also coming up in events this month, on September 21st through the 25th, from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. in Jasmine's Cafe, the Graphic Design Department is hosting a button sale. Spend your Wednesdays on the wall at the Philly Rock Gym. 
The bus leaves the Dixon Center at 7 p.m. September 25th through the 27th is Family Weekend. For more information and event listings, log on to www.cabrini.edu slash get involved. I'm Alyssa Sibellini on location. Now back to the studio. Hi everyone, Liz here and I'm back to give you guys the weather forecast for the next few days. It's not looking too promising, but cross your fingers that maybe it'll get nicer. On Thursday, there's a pretty good chance of showers throughout the day. The high is going to be around 62 degrees, which is much cooler than what we were experiencing on Monday and Tuesday. The low should be around 62 degrees as well, which actually is warm compared to what is in store for Friday. We're looking at another rainy day, with the high being around 69 degrees, but the low sinking down to 54 degrees. Think that's cold? Well, Saturday there is still a chance of showers throughout the day, with the high being 64 and the low being 48. It's mid-September and I'm already freezing. Thankfully, Sunday is looking like it's going to be gorgeous. Sunny skies throughout the day with a high of 65 degrees and a low of 55. That's all I have for you today. Enjoy your weekend. Back to you, Jamie and Diana. And now it's time to take a trip around the world. Kenya is currently in the midst of what could become one of the worst droughts in history. As a result, many are dying. Also, although Kenya typically has high tourism rates, its current tourism is at an all-time low. The swine flu vaccine, which has been expected to protect about 159 million Americans, may not be ready in time to fight the current H1N1 pandemic. If the virus is in full effect in late October, millions of people will be without the vaccine. The Ford Motor Company has become the nation's first automaker to endorse the federal no texting while driving ban. The company released a statement that said it supports the proposed legislation. Now let's take a look at sports with Nick. What's going on fellow sports fans? Nick Goulden here to give you the sports update for the week. The Eagles decimated the Carolina Panthers this Sunday in Carolina by a score of 38 to 10. Philly's defense put together a fantastic performance with five interceptions and five sacks. Now for some bad news, McNabb was diagnosed with cracked ribs after he was hit hard in the midst of a three yard rushing TD. Coach Reed, however, has not ruled out the possibility of star QB playing against the Saints in week two action. The Phillies took three games out of the four game series from the Mets over the weekend. They capped off the series with two wins on Sunday in the doubleheader, thanks to great performances by Kyle Kendrick and Pedro Martinez. Now for some Cabrini sports. The Cabrini women's volleyball team is now 5-2 after a tough loss to the 24th ranked Eastern University. The girls did take a game out of this match, which could be a morale boost going into their next matchup. The men's soccer team continues to impress with a record of 4-1 after a 3-2 win against Moravian College. Finally, the Recreation Department held its second annual surfing trip on Sunday, September 13th. For just $25, students got to hit the beach for one of summer's last days. Let's tag along with Nick and see how the day went. On Sunday, September 13th, myself along with two other Cabrini students set off for Belmar, New Jersey for the Recreation Department's second annual surfing trip. We were met by Atlantic City Surf Club's Tom Forkin who taught us the ropes and helped us scout out the surf before we paddled out and waited for some great waves. Well, we waited. And waited. And waited. But those great waves just never seemed to come. Lucky for us, the Belmar Pro Surf Competition was happening just a street away, and Tom just happened to make it into the semifinals of the longboard competition. We spent the rest of the day watching Tom and the other contestants tear up the surf while enjoying live music and mingling with sure-to-be future surf stars all on one of the last days of summer. But according to Tom, summer's never over because summer is a state of mind. I'm Nick Pitts on location. Thanks for watching this week's Web Edition. Be sure to tune next week for another great episode. I'm James Santoro. And I'm Diane Trasati. Thank you. This location web edition was brought to you by...